Hey, good morning. It's Mark Weiss. I want to talk with you today about the problem, actually two problems, in dealing with amateurs. This could arise in a number of contexts. It could be that you're entering into an employment agreement with someone, a complicated deal. They're not represented. It could be, second variant, negotiating with someone, say, in connection with the sale of a healthcare facility. Let's say it's an assisted living facility. And the seller isn't represented by counsel. Or is represented by someone who clearly doesn't know what they're doing. By a second cousin who is a, a probate lawyer. In the instance in which someone, and I'm assuming that you're a sophisticated party represented by someone like, well, me, uh, and you're negotiating with someone who is unsophisticated, you need to be very careful that that person is not later going to say that I wasn't given the opportunity to obtain counsel. I didn't understand what I was agreeing to. So don't enforce it against me. You need to make passes. Who's your lawyer? Where's your lawyer? You should get a lawyer. Here's time to run it by your lawyer to protect yourself against that possibility. Now let's talk about the second set. It's the, it's the one in which the um, in which you're the buyer, the seller is our um, owner of the assisted living facility, you're a sophisticated buyer, you're represented by counsel. The other side's represented by counsel, but their lawyer is the, the probate lawyer cousin who clearly doesn't know what, uh, what she's doing. You know, Mark Twain wrote something about this, you know, <laughs> well over 100 years ago. And that is that, and it was in um, a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court where he's talking about the fact that the world's greatest swordsman doesn't have anything to fear from the world's second greatest swordsman. The idea being that the world's second greatest swordsman knows the rules, knows the moves, knows what you're supposed to do in a fight. But that there's a lot to fear from the fool who just picks up the sword and starts hacking or slashing. There the notion being is that that guy is going to surprise you. He's going to surprise even the world's greatest swordsman. And that's part of the problem in dealing with the rank amateur. You tend to underestimate him or her he or she comes up with ideas that make no sense but refuses to back down from them because they don't understand that they don't make sense. They don't understand that no one does that in a deal. It's easy to sort of laugh at the unrepresented or the underrepresented party. But in both senses, they can be dangerous. And they have to both be approached with caution, not with glee.